This problem is asking us to solve the equation x squared minus 6x equals 7 by factoring. In order to factor a problem, we need to set it equal to 0. So I need to move this 7 over to the other side of the equation by subtracting because it is the inverse of addition. I get x squared minus 6x minus 7 equals 0. And now I can factor. I know that x squared comes from x times x. I need to be able to multiply by something to get negative 7 and add by something to get negative 6x. If I use my generic rectangle, I see that I have to have a negative 7 in the upper right hand corner. 7 is prime, it comes from multiplying 7 times 1. Because the 6 is negative, I know the bigger number is negative, so it's a negative 7. That leaves me with a negative 7x in this box and an x in this box. That's x squared minus 7x plus x minus 7, 7x, negative 7x and x simplified to negative 6x minus 7. So I've verified that this generic rectangle matches my equation, which means my factors are x plus 1 and x minus 7. Since that is set equal to 0, I can use the zero product property to help me solve. x plus 1 has to equal 0 and x minus 7 has to equal 0. x, therefore, is negative 1 or positive 7.